Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first card. So what do we have for Aries please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Aries. Okay, so the message is listen to your intuition this week Aries. Your intuition is heightened and your intuition is how God, the universe, the divine guide us forward. Um, so it's a beautiful energy. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Angel spirits, guides. What is the message that Aries needs to hear the most for the week? 11th to the 17th of January, 2021. to do with the future you can see this mermaid staring at a crystal ball so it's to do with things to do with the future maybe planning the future decisions on the future okay so i'm going to pull four cards the first card is you your current situation second card is your challenge third card advice from spirit fourth card is your outcome and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you Aries okay what do we have for our lovely Aries thank you message for Aries I'll just shuffle one more time Thank you. There you are. <laughs> the Queen of Wands is Aries for me as a reader. Okay. Nine of Swords, your challenge. Ten of Swords, Aries, is advice from spirit. And the King of Cups is your outcome. King of Cups is Scorpio for me as a reader. Okay. And the court cards are male or female energies as always. It's a general reading. Okay, so what do we have for Aries? Please, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Clarify the cards on the table, please, for Aries. 11th to the 17th of January, 2021. Thank you. Okay. Interesting, I've got the Knight of Wands. Knight of Swords clarifies the Nine of Swords. The Devil clarifies the Ten of Swords and the King of Cups. I've got another Scorpio card, Death. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Okay. I kind of want to start with this challenge position which is interesting because I'd normally start here but there's message the knight of swords is discovering something or some news or information that comes to light or a conversation and it's causing you anxiety stress upset focusing on the negative so much that this person is imagining monsters it's when the mind distorts the reality sees things sees things that are worse than they are there is a reason for you to feel like this no doubt but when the nine of swords appears it's kind of an illusionary energy what the mind can conjure up when it's in that negative state of negative thinking and it's caused by some kind of news that that's come to you But the night, you know what, this, this energy of the Queen of Wands is quite remarkable though because the Queen of Wands is somebody who is confident. She is in her power. She is somebody who trusts her intuition on how she needs to act. 
Um, she is a, a natural leader, you know, somebody who understands how to take the lead, be in their power to bring success and achievement her way. She is a great sign of success. Um, there's an energy here, Aries, that there could have been some news that caused you to feel anxious, upset, worried. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups reversed. That flew out reversed and it's another knight. So I've got three knights now which is all about change and I feel change is coming your way. Uh, it feels in this situation, I mean, the Knight of Cups can be something that got you down, you know? Um, it can sometimes be a sign of jealousy in relationships. It feels in this energy. This Knight of Wands. <laughs> This Knight of Wands, something that got you down, but this Knight of Wands, which is a card of Sagittarius, it brings in some kind of exciting opportunity. The Knight of Wands brings change, the ability to, to get back on your horse, charge ahead and leave a difficult situation behind you. With the Knight of Wands, you think, oh, thank goodness that's over. You know, thank goodness I'm leaving that behind me. You know, I am just moving on from here. I am out of here. And it feels something or someone got you down. Could be some news or it could be a person. Um, to the point where this Nine of Swords, you couldn't get perspective of the reality. Feels like somebody really got in your head. And you were down about it. But there's a the fiery energy coming back, the warrior energy here of, you know, I'm not going to have this anymore. I am taking the reins of my life and I am just charging ahead. And I'm so done with the situation. I'm going to bring positive change in my life. Because the devil can be, is the puppeteer. Um, the puppeteer who understands, who makes you feel powerless, the puppeteer who, um, you know, is an illusion. You think you're dancing to somebody else's tune. Um, it can be about codependency, addiction, instability, a feeling of difficulty in breaking free as well. I mean, this is that codependency, the attached relationship that we have with the devil because it's so alluring. Um, can be about unhealthy relationships in whichever aspect, whether it's in terms of love, romance, relationships, or it could be to do with money career for some of you. It feels in this situation, whatever pain you were caused by this devil, and it could have been a person or a situation, it's, it feels like it's over. I mean, the Ten of Swords is somebody wounded you deeply. This can be about loss her deep pain, deep hurt areas, but it's over, it's a 10. So there's an opportunity for the pain to be over now. And definitely this energy, I just feel in your present, you know, gosh, I am so done with being down about this. I am just, I'm fired up. I mean, you might be angry here as well. You know, I'm fired up. I'm reconnecting to whom I am and I'm taking charge of a situation that has controlled me for a period of time. And that's what happens here. You know, Mars in Gemini, when you allow the news to cause disruption in your own internal energy. And there's this kind of energy of, no, I'm taking my power back because I am so done in this situation now. And the King of Cups is somebody, it could be a person. I mean, this could be an end in terms of love, romance, relationships. It, it's somebody who has emotional balance, you know, he is a card of emotional balance. 
So it's almost kind of like you're rising above the situation and you're finding the balance again. But it feels like this is a card of rising above. Because you're done with something, it's the end. You're done with it. And again, we can see that death on the horse, you know, the horse energy, horse energy is, is a wonderful, the horse is a great energy of strength, courage, um, movement as well. And it feels in this situation, this is the Phoenix Rising card, card of Scorpio, you're ready to shed an old skin. It feels like some of you are liberating from what this devil represented to you. Because there's definitely an energy of you're, you're done with it, you're detaching from it, and you're moving towards calmer waters. This is somebody detaching from troubled waters, moving towards calmer waters. Uh, because they have clear direction in terms of where they're going. This is a card of healing as well. Healing from what was and moving towards something better. It feels like a life transition here. But for some of you this week, it feels like you're done with a situation that has controlled you or a person for far too long. And now is your chance to find your balance, to regroup. So let's clarify this King of Cups. Let's clarify this King of Cups. It feels like you're back in your element. Definitely getting that warrior energy here, Aries. That fighting spirit. Yeah, so it could be a it could be a relationship. Queen of Cups, and it could, a queen, King and Queen of Cups. It feels like there's an end of a relationship here, but something that got you down, something that really got you down, something that someone that really got in your head as well, um, or discovering some information that really got into your head and caused a lot of hurt and cause what seemed to be a really pure relationship to go toxic, you know, go unhealthy, be unstable. And there's definitely this energy of, you have the opportunity for the pain to be over. The, the Ten of Swords for me, you can see the lightning of the clouds behind because the sun's trying to come through because it's a new day, a new dawn. You know, the sun is beginning to rise and it's pushing away the dark clouds. So there's definitely an energy of you are liberating from a situation that no longer serves you. Um, I'm moving towards, I'm ready to move on. Turn your back on troubled times towards calmer waters. And being very positive about the future, you know. This is ready to look to the future. You're looking to the future because you're not interested in what this was anymore. That's what the Knight of Wands, Queen of so Queen, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands is. I'm all fired up. I am so done with this situation. I am moving on. Because it feels like there's been a lot of disappointment in love. I'm gonna pull one more card, Aries. Any other message for Aries, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Any other message for our lovely Aries? Thank you. Now, the Six of Swords can also be about moving, relocating, uh, moving jobs, can be moving home, can be life transitions. Well, you're not quite at the end goal yet, but you're clear about where you're going in your future and you're being guided every step of the way with that intuition lovely energy we lovely i mean it's difficult in the sense of a relationship but it's definitely a beautiful energy in terms of the phoenix rising energy aries because you are the phoenix rising this week you're ready to rise in your own light and destroy the old in order to bring the new in and we have the new energy of aquarius here which is the new energy new world energy Fun. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I love how the cards come out. Yeah, you could be moving, relocating. That could be the, uh, that is the Ace of Coins. Um, this can also be new career, financial opportunities. But it's also an energy of you're being given a helping hand by the universe, a gift. Um, you may notice synchronicities this week. You may notice things just 
just being in their flow this week as well because you're being helped you're being helped from moving from something that has become toxic and unstable and that has caused you some emotional pain here um towards rising in your own light in your own colors you know accepting some powerful ending here but being very anticipating about the future and the beginnings of a new door is opening for you which is very beautiful indeed so very lovely energy i'm going to pull a final card and this is a card of manifesting you know you know, it's to do with our conscious reality. Whatever we want to manifest now in our conscious reality is available to us. Uh, the beginnings of success in terms of career, money, the beginnings of a new home for some of you, um, the beginnings of a fresh new start, you know, that kind of energy in your conscious reality. It just feels very beautiful. This card keeps on coming out for me, it's quite funny. I think it might be trying to tell me something as well as you Aries. So we have moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. <laughs> but there's definitely an energy of, you're beginning to moderate the negative energies that have owned you. And I feel that's the energy as well. You're bringing them under control. You're taking your power back in a situation. And there's definitely an energy that when you do, this is going to be the metamorphosis of who you are, leading to your rebirth. You're ready to release the old in order to bring the new in. So it's a lovely energy for that reason, anticipating about the future. And you know, it feels exciting with the Ace of Coins. I'm going to pull one more card. Yeah, we have moon energy, lovely. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.